We have spur end, Tyron Bradley. Questions for Tyron? Greg? So Tyron, it's second year in the system, uh, had success last year, but do you feel different, the comfort level different for you second time around? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely a huge change, you know, understanding not only my job, but um, the guys around me. So um, it helps me out. It gives me an opportunity to help my teammates out knowing their assignments so I can be in, you know, just better position overall on the defense and just understanding why we make certain calls for certain situations and um, how can I adjust my alignment or my assignment to maybe give off a disguise and help out, you know, I'm saying the protection or whether it's being in the window or stuff like that. Instinct you played on more last year, or I mean, is it, do you just know it that much more this year? Uh, yeah, I played off a lot of instinct, but um, this year I know I, I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable in the defense. Um, like I said, I feel like I know more, more so my job and the people around me. So I know maybe certain techniques I can use on certain plays because you know I might have an inside hook somewhere or. A, a hook dropping down from the safety, just things like that, you know what I'm saying, so I can tighten up my alignment and my coverage. And even when it's coming off the edge, you know, disguising it and, you know what I'm saying, maybe giving them the slide to protection another way to free up, you know what I'm saying, the end or give me the one-on-one -on -one off the edge. So, yeah, definitely a lot more comfortable in the defense. Um, but, yeah. How is Coach Cabrill? Uh, he's great, man. Um, you know, ever since he's he's got here, he changed the trajectory of our room. Um, he's allowed me to be more free. You know, um, I could be myself out there. Um, he he gives us the comfortability to to try new things out there. You know, he he was brought here to to increase our pass rush and help us pass rush. So, you know, ever since he's gotten here, he's just you know taught me things and um, honed up on some skills that I may have already had. And like I said, he allows me to go out and just be free and and play my game. has he taught you? I mean, is it specific pass rush moves that maybe you didn't have in the toolbox before? What are some of the things he's taught you? Um, I wouldn't say specific pass rush moves, more so just recognition, um, understanding what type of blocks, what, um, what type of scheme the O-line is giving us, whether it's a 60 man protection or, you know, just things like that, understanding what moves I can use um, versus a slide. Um, like I said, recognition, just understanding my keys and my eyes. He's really, he was really helped me hone up my eyes as, as, in terms of pass rushing and just what to look for coming off the edge um, with certain blocks and the quarterback and how he moves. And, you know, he tells us we're rushing two people. We got to rush the tackle and the quarterback. So, you know, he, like I said, he just came in. Um, he allows me to be a free player, allows me to try new stuff. And, you know, he, his energy level is always top notch. So, yeah. Is it, uh, is it tough to be a pass rusher? You know, during a camp like this, because you're never going to touch the quarterback. Like you, you know, even on days when you tackle, you guys aren't really going to tackle. Uh, yeah, they 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 make it a big deal to stay away from six. So um, it's definitely it's definitely tough. Um, but like I said, just getting just getting the feel for those reps and understanding, like you know, what I'm saying when you do get free, just kind of you gotta you gotta pull back a little bit. But they they do a pretty good job of charting our sacks and and TFLs and stuff like that. So. Um, Overall, getting getting in the feel of you know actually sacking the quarterback is gonna be it's gonna be exciting when we can really um, we can just kick it off August thirty first. But for right now, they kind of you know what I'm saying keep keeping us away from them. And then do you, or I guess how do you practice? Uh, so our coach Leslie talked about this last year. Practice um, forcing fumbles on sacks. You talked about like going after the ball or going after arms. How, how do you practice that stuff when again you, you can't really touch them? Uh, yeah, Coach Cabral, um, he does a great job in drill, in drill work. You know. Um, working off the edge and then reaching and running, you know what I'm saying, giving us a, a key point to look for. And, and um, you know, our GA, Buck, he, he usually does a good job as well. They're, they're, they work hand in hand but in our drills. Um, but yeah, like I said, Coach Cabral, he, he usually has those that stuff and drill work for us. So, you know what I'm saying, when we come off the edge, we make a move and we reach and run and it's a ball right there or a tennis ball right there, something to, to just get our aim right so we don't miss when it's, when it's game time. Puts on the pads and says, "Come hit me." That's not hard enough. Go again. No, nah, no, nah, I haven't had one of those. Nah. <laughs> what did you think when you first exposed to those drills? Um, it was different, you know. It, it um, it kind of was an eye opener, you know. It was it, like I said, it was different, but it was it also helps us, you know. What I'm saying like when we when we do come off the edge and we do reach and we run, um, 
all that stuff, it correlates to game time. So being able to translate it from drill to team segments, it's important to, to get certain looks and understand the speed of the game is going to be different. So, you know, just, just getting in that drill work is just always important. People, 60,000 people in the stand, they watch you fat, rush the faster, and they're thinking it's all physical. I mean, you know, speed, strength, uh, et cetera. But the way you talk about it, it sounds like this. A little bit of intellect involved in that, though. Maybe a lot of intellect involved. Yeah, in that. definitely. How, how much is how much goes into the non-physical aspect of, of that? Oh uh, yeah, Coach Cabral, he tells us all the time. This is um, pass rushing is like a chess game. You know, we got to set the tackle up. Just kind of like how receivers, they set up DBs and they they give them moves and releases off the line. It's kind of similar for us. You know, we. We may work a move and the ball comes out in a few seconds, you know, but we still get it in the tackle's mind that, you know, we, we may come off and do this. And so, like I said, it's just a chess game, you know, throughout the game, you know, sacks are, are um, they come in bunches, you know what I'm saying? You, so when you get them, you're, you're likely to get another one. But yeah, it's real, it's real, like it's real intellectual, um, you know what I'm saying? Just playing that chess game over the course of the game, over the course of, series with the tackle and showing him different things and getting him to open up his hips and counters and, and stuff like that. What do you think of Ty French? Uh, he's a great uh, great guy. He, he has a, a high motor, extremely high motor. Um, I told him, I talked to him yesterday, like we're, we work off of each other, you know, um, his strengths, my strengths, his weaknesses, my weaknesses, you know, um, he's coming from a lower level SCS like I was last year. So um, it was just important for me to tell him like, hey, you're, you're gonna get home. Uh, just based off of natural ability and you know his resume speaks for itself but um just helping him get in get um get here and um hone up his skills like i said he has a motor like the dude can go um but we're going against a lot bigger guys so um helping him understand like he has to use his leverage he has to use his speed a lot and um like he he wants to learn he's a sponge and i love to help him you know he asks me anything and I, you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm there to help him because like i said i know the defense and so whenever he asks a question or anybody in the room asks, you know, I'm always the first one to try to, to help up and, and, and speak and let them know what's up. What was the biggest jump that you faced coming from FCS and that he's going to face? Um, really just a lot bigger guys, you know, a lot faster. Um, like I, I tell them all the time, we, we joke about it. Like we used to run around guys at FCS level, you know, it was a lot easier. And so when you got guys that are getting to their spots a lot faster and they're a lot stronger, you know, you got to rely on your technique. And, and that's been the biggest thing for him. You know, like I said, he has a motor, so he's going to get home. He's going to make plays naturally. But, you know, when the talent level is equal to or greater than, you know, it's what can you rely on. So really just been the big thing um, for him is just honing up his skills and, you know, his get off and his hand violence and stuff like that. In, in the game plan of pass rushing, Cody talking about you can't touch Green, but do you ever go to Green or Nico, the quarterback, and say, hey, I want to kind of pick your brain on what you think a quarterback would do here or what I could do against QBs since you are one? Does it kind of work that way at all? Uh, now, nah, Gigi kind of different. You know, he's he he's a little different. Um, he can get out of the pocket. You know, he can he can run. He can step into the pocket. He can make any throw on the field, you know. He's he showed us that in practice. So, it, with me, it's more so um, the tackle. You know, I get to go against Wyatt every day. You know, he's a he's a great offensive tackle. So, just um, you know, when we go at it and we rushing each other, just under just learning and understanding. Like um, when he gives me certain sets or when a certain drop back looks from Gigi, you know, what what can I do in certain situations to maybe get more pressure? Because not every tackle that I'm gonna face is you know what I'm saying gonna be as good as him. So. Um, Really, just being able to pick his brain and see what he what he does and what he's looking for, and then on my end and on um, you know the D line end, just using that you know what I'm saying against guys and, and um, being able to put it all into play. You mentioned a few minutes ago that pass rushing is kind of like a game of chess. So like in chess, all the pieces on the board do something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Does a good defense have a bunch of guys who can rush the passer slightly differently? And then is that what this defense has? Oh yeah, definitely. We got a lot of. Um, a lot of different guys that can rush on. Um, we got Sean Martin. He, he's a freak. You know, however tall he is, extremely long, strong. And we got, um, you know, Eddie V, extremely high motor. And then we got guys like TJ, who are more short, compact, explosive. You know, me, Ty French coming off the edge. Um, Sonny Redwood coming back. You know, he brings a lot for us. 
Um, but yeah, we got a, that's a lot of different skill sets. So it's, um, Coach Leslie, they do a good job of um, giving us different fronts and allowing us to twist and loop and work off of each other. And we even got the freedom to, you know, call some of our own games. You know, um, I might flip the three tech if I want to, or if I see a matchup I like and move Sean to outside or, you know what I'm saying, just whatever whatever we like. And, and that's given us the, the freedom to be able to do that because we got a lot more depth and a lot better pass rushers as well. in this camp about being more physical. And, you know, for you all, and that's not always just running straight through somebody. What are some of the different ways you've tried to be more physical in this camp? And, I mean, does that suit your game? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I've always been a physical player. But, yeah, just the point of attack, you know, striking with my hands, um, defeating blocks, holding, maintaining gap leverage, um, pad leverage, and, um, you no, know, just just those main things, you know, like you said, it's not always about running straight through people, but you know, sometimes you got to set edges on bigger guys and, and force the ball to bounce back inside. And really just that's been the main thing um, this camp that they've been focusing on is is our gap leverage, our pad leverage and our hand leverage, making sure that we are all in gaps so the defense can flow and work together. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's been the biggest thing for us. Okay, any other questions for Tyron? All right. Thank you all.